They have over 29% of the destroyed houses are either constructed, under construction, or contracted to be done. We had the Apollolistic Church built four houses down there, did a beautiful job. We've got some access issues, but I think that's going to fall in place. And then the town of Yarnell is going to have a memorial in town, and they're trying to garner funds to have a small little, kind of like a park. On May 15th, we have an item to review with the council on our impact fees. That's when they would actually decide to adopt or not adopt, and also look at the rates, whether or not they want to adopt the rates as proposed or reduce them. We're mandated to look at the fees because of the state legislature. They changed the statutes a couple of years ago, so we're forced to go through this process to reevaluate the fees. And the fees are based on a couple of documents that have been approved previously. For a single family home, it'll reduce the rates by about $1,500. And for a multifamily mobile home, it'll come down by about four to $500. Commercial rates, the town has not actually applied before. We have rates that we've adopted, but we've waived those to encourage economic development. One's a capital improvement plan, or what they call an infrastructure improvements plan, which looks at the capital projects that we need as we grow. The other is a land use assumption. So we look at what areas are zoned, you know, which classifications.